Hi ladies! I wanted to talk to you today about how to do a basic everyday makeup look really quickly, how to use versatile products, and then I'm going to talk just briefly about how to take it from basic to more night out, even though I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that. So thank you so much, Bethany, for asking me to create this video for all of you. First, I have to preface this with the fact that I am not a makeup artist. I am just a mom who fell in love with a makeup company and have learned along the way how to best to use it to fit my lifestyle. I have two young boys, ages four and almost two, three rescue dogs, and I run two businesses. So I don't have a lot of time to spend in front of the mirror in the morning or in the afternoon, um, but I need to look put together because I'm bringing my boys places, I'm meeting clients and customers, Customers, so I have to look like I am professional and put together, but I have to do it quickly in the morning. So I'm going to show you my basic makeup routine, something to do just for an easy everyday look. And again, I'll talk you through how to take it to the next level, even if I won't demonstrate it in this particular video. First, for a good makeup look, you need good skincare. I cannot emphasize that enough. I used to be the type of girl who thought that skincare was just removing your makeup at the end of the day and that was it. And boy, have I learned so much about taking care of my skin. And skincare doesn't mean just buying a random brand off the shelf. It means researching different brands, trying out different brands, and especially working with the type of skin that you have. I have oily to acne prone skin, so I have to be very careful about what I use because if it has too much moisturization in it, I'll break out. If it doesn't have enough, it could dry out my skin and cause breakouts in that regard too. So once you find a good skincare routine, your makeup routine is going to shrink, I promise. All I'm wearing right now is just, um, I used my moisturizer and my skincare that I use every single day after I shower, and I have a tinted moisturizer on. My favorite tinted moisturizer is the Senegence Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer. It's a 50-50 blend of their foundation and their daytime moisturizer. So it has Senashield in it, so it protects my skin from the sun, and it has healing powers for my skin, makes it nice and soft and moisturized and lasts all day, and it doesn't irritate um, my oily, sensitive skin skin. After that, for an everyday look, I would go to concealer. Now, I've tried a lot of concealers. Again, I have acne prone skin, so I've used a fair amount of concealers. My favorite by far has actually been the Senegence Shadow Sets. You can hear my dogs. Um, I use Candlelight, and it can double as a highlighter, a concealer, an eyeshadow primer, or a natural eyeshadow. So that's why this is my go-to, and I'll show you how I use it as a concealer. So I just put three dots here and then anywhere that I would have some blemish markings that I want to cover up. Now if you were going to use this as a full on highlighter, you could create the triangle underneath your eye to highlight underneath your eye. Always use your third or fourth finger when you're working around your eye. And I'm going to go on top too so I can like double as either eyeshadow primer if I'm going to do full eye makeup or as like a light everyday eye color. More bang from my buck, bang from my time. And just pat it in nice and soft. It does dry quickly when you're working with um, this particular cream to powder shadow. So just know that depending on the product you're working with. It may be more advantageous to do one eye at a time, especially when you're first learning. Be very gentle under the eyes. The skin is super sensitive. I don't need to give you my middle finger, so I'll do the fourth one. And just blend it all around until you get the appropriate amount. Okay. So that's what I use to highlight under my eyes because I have, you know, dark circle mom eyes and um, just touch up some of the blemish marks that I have from old breakouts. And again, if you were going to use it as a highlighter, you do the triangle underneath your eyes. You do it above your cheekbone here, down your nose, right here in between your eyebrows, and a little bit here on your chin. Basically, highlighting is wherever the sun would naturally, or a ring light, would naturally hit your face, so that's what highlighting is. And again, I'm not gonna do it, but that would be how you'd take it to the next level if you wanted to. I'm gonna also use, um, because I have oily skin, even though I used a tinted moisturizer that evened out my skin tone and provided some light coverage, I'm gonna use, I love Pixie by Petra's um, powder, pressed powder, 
I know a lot of people use Bare Minerals, basically any pressed powder, um, again, just because I have oily skin. So you may be able to completely skip this step if you've used your tinted moisturizer or your BB cream, what a lot of companies call it. Um, you may be able to skip over this step, but this is just for my more oily prone skin to keep everything sort of flat and not shiny. Okay, and that's that. So next, I would move on to, if I was going to be doing full eye makeup, I probably would have done that first. And um, But for today, just because I use the candlelight eyeshadow underneath my eyes, I use it on top as just a light color. We usually say to have a put together look, you don't have to do anything crazy. If you just do cheeks, eyes, and lips, you look totally put together. So now I'm gonna move to cheeks, and I'll do lips last. Again, Showing versatility, I'll show you a couple different options. I love the Senegent's Shadow Scent. This is an eyeshadow again, just like the Candlelight that I could use as highlighter or eyeshadow. It's called Mulberry. And it's kind of a mauve tone. As you can tell, that's kind of the color scheme that I love. And so I use this as a shadow and I also use it as a blush. So I'll show you how to use it as a blush. You can use it either with a brush or with your fingers. So, Blush, you go from kind of the center of your eye along your cheekbone out back towards your ear. You don't put it on right here on your cheeks. This is actually where highlighting goes. So I'm just gonna do three dots. I'm gonna do one side at a time because again, it um, dries fairly quickly. And I'm just going to use, let me grab this so I can see a little better. And so you can see a little better. and you blend backwards. Okay, so that's one side. And then if it becomes out too drastic, I'll also show you how to tone it down a little bit. So again, this is Mulberry Shadow. One, two, three. Blend back towards your ear. You don't wanna get it on the apple of your cheek, that's for sh highlighting. So I usually pat it just because it's a liquid and then I blend back toward my ear. And if it's easier, you can kind of make like a little fish face pucker. Okay, now if it comes out more than what you would want, very easy trick is notice I didn't clean off my powder brush. All you do, sweep that powder brush over what you just did. And there's still some product on there and you blend it out okay if you like um, if you don't like cream to powder um, Cinegent's also has a really great blush scent that I use if I'm going out at night or going to a wedding because I want it to last the whole time again you can blend with your fingers but if you for, prefer a powdered look I love um, Becca mineral blush um, songbird is my favorite because again it's kind of has a warm tone I'll show you just a tad on top um, but Becca Mineral Blush is really, really good. It also lasts pretty long. Okay, so now I'm going to go to um, the eyes. Now, you could just leave it, if you use the lighter color as your highlighter and on your eyes, you could just leave it at that. If you wanted to touch a color, just do like a tone slightly darker. So for me, that's this shadow sense is Mocha Java. And this, again, this is a Senegent shadow. And I'm just gonna show you quickly I would probably um, just do my lid if I was going for an everyday look. And I use a brush because these are very pigmented and easy to blend. And I just pat it on. And since I already used the candlelight underneath, I already have a primer and an even tone to go on top of. Now if you wanted a more dramatic look, there are a couple other steps that you could add in. Um, you could do your crease, which you would do before you do your lid, and that is the area here. So it's a crease of your eye. So you just grab a more rounded tip blending brush with a slightly darker color than you'd put on your lid, or much darker if you want a more dramatic, and just sweep it back and forth in that crease area. And then you would put your, you would blend your lighter color onto your lid on top. 
to blend it in. And then last, if you are doing your eyebrows, um, again, I'm not going to do that right now because that's not necessarily something people would do every day. You do, again, that light color, like the candlelight that I used under my eyes, um, to highlight just along the brow line. So that's a way to take it to another step. And then the last step to take it even more dramatic, so if you did the crease already, you highlighted under here and you wanted a little bit of a cheater smoky eye, you take a really dark gray, like a charcoal or a black color, and you put it just right here and smooth it in just here from like this part of your crease down and over and blend it out. So you could even wear no no gray or black on those outside edges at work. And then if you're going out that night or going to an event that night, you could just add it right on top to take it from day to night, super easy. All right, so then you can either, for your eyes, you can do um, an eyeliner on the bottom or on the top. You can do cat eyes. There's a lot you can do with eyes that aren't necessarily every day to make it a little bit more dramatic depending on the type of look that you want. I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeliner um, just on the bottom. And I go back and forth. Sometimes I use Senegent's Onyx Shadow Sense as my eyeliner. It lasts all day, it's water resistant. Or I use Fierce Flicks, which I think came in one of my Ipsy bags and I actually really love the sort of tip that it provides. So one thing that I did learn very light so that you don't go all the way across your eye when I took a makeup class sorry for the eyebrows that are unruly okay and then um, so you just go to sort of the center of your eye and out with that another trick that I can show you if you don't love using eyeliner or if you don't want to use eyeliner is you can actually use your mascara. Now I use, again, I love Senegin's Cosmetics, so I use Lash Sense, which is waterproof. If you take your mascara, and you wipe off the tip, and you go back and forth on your lash line on the bottom here, hang on a second, I have a little, uh, at the end there there we go if you go back and forth lightly it's gonna give the appearance that you're wearing eyeliner so you can even put it on your lashes and go back and forth for a more dramatic look um, or just do the tip and just go back and forth lightly and it gives the look of having eyeliner on without having to actually apply eyeliner. So then I'm going to just apply, try and do it without you having to look up my nose. It's very light. Again, for an everyday, you can do multiple layers if you want it to look more dramatic, or you could do one layer for work or during the day for errands, and then you can put on um, a second layer later in the evening for it to look more dramatic. The more um, layers that you do, and I don't suggest you do a ton, I would say maximum of two to three, it will make your eyelashes a little bit thicker and look a little bit longer. So that's it, that's my super easy, everyday, quick makeup look, and I always finish with lips. Um, I never start because you get makeup on your lips. You wouldn't even believe, even if you keep your mouth closed, you get makeup on your lips. So whatever lipstick you use, or lip gloss, see? I don't know if you can see that, right? And I kept my lips closed. I still get, so you can use witch hazel, um, a cloth with warm water. You want it to be a clean surface because that will make whatever lip product you wear last longer. So I use Lip Sense because um, I fell in love with it because I put it on once and I don't have to touch it up. So I'll do it as quick as I can here to finish up the tutorial. It goes on in three layers if you've never heard of Lip Sense before. Three layers, one interacts with your pH level, the second is protected, and the third interacts with food and drink. It's a liquid lip color that lasts for four to 18 hours. So I have to remove my lipstick every night instead of having everything that I do during the day remove it for me. So I love it.
case you do like lip scents and want to know, this is First Love. It's a very neutral, natural color. So I thought it would go perfect with this natural, everyday look. I had to let it dry. Sorry. one more layer then gloss then done so the lipstick even though it only takes like two minutes is the longest of my everyday process so you really can make a lot of products go a long way to help you so that you don't have to spend a ton of time in the mirror you could do this in seven minutes or less Put on my gloss. Since it's dry, it's really done. My gloss has There we go. Um, this gloss has vitamin E and shea butter, so it's super, super moisturizing. And that's it. So that would be my everyday look. Again, just remember lips, cheeks, eyes, and you can choose which parts you want to work more on or put more on. And there are ways to take it from day to night that we talked about. And so perhaps I'll make some more video tutorials to show you exactly how to do that. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd love to chat and help you out. Have a wonderful day, everybody.